Hello everybody and welcome to week five, final week of this half term. I'm sure like many of you, it's gone in the blink of an eye and there's been a real roller coaster ride. I know that many of us now are getting our head round finally the Teams app version of home working and home schooling. And I know from many of the teachers that we're really grateful for all the hard work you'll continue to put in at home, so please do keep it up. Well, this last week we've had the announcement, haven't we, that schools uh, might be open again after the half term for some year groups and some easing of the restrictions of movement in public life. But we're not quite there yet, so there's still this element of frustration and also the feeling of perhaps a lack of clarity of how things are going to work out once the restrictions are lifted. I think this begs us even more now than ever to have more patience because we have to remember that our government and politicians and those making the decisions for us about lifting the restrictions are in uncharted territory. And so they will make some right decisions and perhaps some wrong ones because they've never been in this situation before. After all, they are only human beings like us. It brings to mind a story though from Gandhi. Now in the 1930s, Gandhi had a woman come up to him with her son and say, Gandhi, will you please tell my son to stop eating sugar? He eats too much of it, and he won't listen to me being his mom, but you being a wise man, he will listen to. So, and Gandhi, for a second, thought about it, and then looked at the woman and said, come back in a month's time. So the woman went away with her son, feeling a bit confused, comes back after the month, and asks Gandhi to tell her son to stop eating sugar again. So Gandhi looks at her son and says, Stop eating sugar, it's bad for you. The boy looks at Gandhi and says, Well, you're a wise man, I'll listen to you, I'll stop doing it. And the mother standing there next to him, feeling all confused, thinking, Well, why didn't you just do that a month ago? Why did I have to wait? So she asks Gandhi why she had to wait. He looks her in the eye and says, Well, first of all, I had to go away and I had to stop eating sugar for a month because for me to be a leader, and to tell somebody else to do something, I have to be willing and to do it, or perhaps to have also done it first. That's the sign of good leadership. Lead by example. You see, bad leaders care about being right, whereas good leaders care about what's right. And so for all of us, we have to remember that quite often the things which we say reflect really what's going on in our heart. So if it's always done in an aggressive voice or short-tempered or in a negative way, especially about others, or indeed even what we think about ourselves, it does reflect quite often what's going on inside. So the challenge for us all really, as Proverbs 4 tells us from the Bible, is to watch what we say, to not gossip, and to not do idle banter and white lies, because it's unwise. Let's just be loving and positive towards others and, and about what we think about ourselves. And in doing that, optimism is lifted up rather than, as quite often now, mainstream media always seems to be giving the negative rather than the positive. And so I hope and pray that as we come to half term, you get the rest that you all rightly deserve and your parents for all the hard work they've been doing in at home. And when we come back, we feel refreshed and we come back knowing that our words are a really important part of representing who we are on the inside and who we are as a community at our school. So all take care and I look forward to seeing you soon. Amen.